So, it's been a little while since we've done any type of video about tape, which if you've been with this channel for a while, you know that's kind of where I started, was with flex tape. So, if you're active on Instagram or Facebook, you've probably seen ads for this stuff called nano tape. It's basically just a double-sided silicone tape. I think it started off as a, a, a type of carpet tape, maybe. The ads are very conflicting. In the ad, the first video, it'll show they'll take like two little pieces of this stuff, stick it to a wall, and it'll hold like 20 pounds, which is great. And then the very next part of the ad, they'll stick it to a wall and they'll stick like their car keys to it and then they'll demonstrate how easy you can take things off of it. So a tape can't be strong and weak at the same time. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna test out some of these things they've showed in the ads and see if they're true. All right, so we moved down here to this part of my garage. I have a just a regular wood wall, obviously. The first thing that they did in the ads was they put one piece of tape, one just one, a strand of tape on the wall and then they took a brick and they stuck it to the wall and then they piled things then they piled more bricks on top of it so we'll see I, I don't think it's gonna even hold one brick let's get a piece of this stuff we'll measure it out to approximately the length of one brick all oh, this stuff is hard to cut too it really it smells really bad Alright, so let's stick this to the wall. Alright, get it worked in there real good. And then we'll peel this piece off. Maybe. There we go. Oh, come on. Peel that off. And then we'll take our brick. See if we can stick it to the wall. I'll give it, give it the best chance possible. We'll kind of hold it there for a second. Three, two, ah, uh, I mean, it's holding it, but uh, I can visibly see it falling. Yeah, it doesn't hold very well. Let's do it this way, on a flat surface. It's holding. Let's put some more bricks on it. I got two more bricks. Got a fourth one. Well, I feel it. I don't know if you, you can't even hardly see this top brick. I feel like they're gonna fall any minute. But it's holding four bricks. Let's take these down before they fall. Wow, that's actually Oh wow, that's actually way, way stronger than I thought. Oh man. Okay, well apparently, wow, look how stretchy that is. Apparently it sticks to bricks pretty good. So, so far, that part of the advertisement of it being strong seems to be true. All right, so that was obviously very impressive. So we're gonna do it again, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take three bricks and I'm just gonna, you know, put a, a layer of tape between each one, stack them all on top of each other, and then once they're all stuck together, then I'll take these and stick them to the wall so that way I have a more flat surface to set things on. But so far, I'm impressed. I'm extremely impressed, actually. There's one. I'm gonna massage that in real good. I think the massaging it in really helps. Get this one on here. Give it a nice massage. Finally get this third one on here. 
give it a nice massage. Peel that off, stick this brick on top of this one, peel the plastic off of this one, and then stick this together. All right, now let's go back to the wall. All right, so we've got all, all three bricks glued, or uh, <laughs> not glued, nano tapes together. Peel this top one off. And we're gonna stick it to the wall, probably, probably about here. I'm gonna hold it on here for five, 10 seconds. Give it the best chance possible. All right, here we go. Okay, it's holding. Stack a couple bricks on here. Oh no, I guess where it has more leverage. Now it's starting to fall apart. All right, I wanna see if it'll hold hold like 40 pounds or so. I have a 40 pound dumbbell here. We're gonna set it up on top, see if it'll hold. Uh, it wants to fall forward. But it'll, here, let's put it on. Oh, look at that. That's holding 40 pounds. It's leaning, I, I can tell you it's getting ready to fall, but, oh, let's get, here it goes, here it goes. <laughs> 40 pounds, that's pretty impressive. Well, not more than 40 pounds on this one little piece of tape, three bricks and 40 pounds. So each brick is probably Probably a couple pounds. So, so far this stuff is very, very impressive. All right, so let's take a break from testing this tape so that I can tell you about the sponsor of today's video, Surfshark VPN. As most of you know, a VPN stands for Virtual Private Network. And having one and using one allows you to do multiple things. One, it allows you to avoid internet censorship. If you travel to a country where well, websites like YouTube and Facebook and places like that are blocked, with a VPN, you can just set your location to be the US, and then now you have full access to all your normal websites that you use. Number two is price discrimination. So a lot of you don't know this, but a lot of companies will change their prices depending on your location, such as plane tickets and hotel prices. So if you use a VPN, you can change your location and you can get the best rates. And number three, and the most important, is a VPN encrypts all of your data. So you can keep all of your sensitive data safe. So if you are at a hotel or at a McDonald's or a Starbucks or anywhere where there's a public Wi-Fi connection where someone could easily compromise all of your sensitive data. You can use a VPN and it'll encrypt all of your data so all your data stays safe. So if you wanna try Surfshark VPN, there's gonna be a link at the top of my description. If you use that link and use the code TylerTube, you'll get 83% off plus an additional free month. Now I'm gonna give you a demonstration of how a VPN works. So this is why you need a VPN. The liquid in all five of these two liters represents your data with a VPN. As you can see, with a VPN, it's safe, it's secure, the data's inside, nobody's getting into it, it's all safe. It can go all throughout the internet, it can go wherever it wants, nothing's gonna happen. Now watch what happens when you don't have a VPN. As, as you can tell, when you don't have a VPN, your data ends up all over the place. So use Surfshark VPN, there'll be a link at the top of my description, use the code TylerTube, get your 83% off, plus your one month free. Let's get back to the video. All right, so obviously we know this stuff is strong. So now we're gonna test the part of the advertisement where they were sticking things to it and they were just coming off extremely easy. So I mentioned the keys. I have some just forks and spoons because they were, they were showing things, showing uh, that you could use it in the kitchen and like stick things to it. So I have the silverware, I have a pepper shaker and just like a seasoning bottle. And we're gonna stick it to the wall and see how easy they come off. So instead of going to the kitchen, we're just gonna stick the stuff to this door. I mean, it's pretty much the same thing. So we're gonna take our piece of tape, peel our plastic off. All right, first, first what we'll do is we'll stick the keys, stick the keys right there. Take the pepper shaker, stick it there. Take this other seasoning. Oh, so that's a problem. Or, these, or this bottle, you know, it's kind of flared out on the top and bottom. It won't stick. So 
Let's stick it by the bottom. Stick it right there. All right, we got everything stuck to the door. Let's let it sit uh, 10, 20 minutes, and then we'll see how hard they are to get off. All right, it's been about 10 minutes. Let's see how hard these things are to get off. First, we'll go with the keys. Okay, not too bad. Didn't leave any residue or anything. Pepper. Yeah. Definitely, definitely wouldn't want to stick your pepper on this. Yeah, a little bit, a little too hard. Let's go with our seasoning bottle. Okay, that worked good. Now we're on to our silverware. <laughs> it kind of peels the tape away. Oh. Stay that same way with this one. Maybe if you just go real slow. Oh wow, I think this one's really stuck. Yeah, this, <laughs> this one just peeled it off the door. Alright, so. Yeah, it's strong, but as far as putting it in the in the kitchen and hanging stuff on it, I wouldn't do that. It's too strong for that. And before everybody gets all mad, I do want to be clear that what if you want to be very, very specific, what they did in the ad does work. Because if you just in the ad, if you just take a piece of this tape and you just stick it halfway, stick it to the to a surface, like this door, peel the plastic off. And then set, take something, say like your pepper shaker, and then for the ad, you just stick it there and then pull it right back off. Then it comes off easy. And even with that, it still kind of tried to peel it off the door a little bit. But if you take anything and stick it there, like you would in real life, and then leave it for several hours overnight, whatever, and then you go to peel it off, that's when you start having problems. All right, so for our final test, I have another piece of our nano tape. And in the ads, they claim that if it gets dirty, you can just rewash it and reuse it, and it will be just like brand new. What we're going to do is I'm going to lay this down here. Come on. Get off my finger. And then I have salt. I'm just going to sprinkle salt on it on both sides until it's, it just you know, simulates sand or dirt or whatever, until it's not sticky anymore whatsoever. And then I'm going to have it, then I have a bucket of water. I'm going to wash it off. And then we're going to put it back on our bricks and see if the bricks will stick to the wall like they did. And if they did, then we'll put the dumbbell back on top and see if it holds it. So let's get some of our salt out. Oh yeah. Peel this plastic backing off. Just rub it all in this salt. And as you can see now, it's just kind of like a rope. Not sticky at all. Not sticking to my fingers. Nothing. Now let's get our bucket of water, wash it off, and put it back on the bricks. Take my piece of uh, nano tape. Just wash it around until I get everything off of it. If I had to guess, I'd say it's probably going to have half the strength that it used to have. All right. So that is one clean piece of nano tape. I think I'm just going to drape it over the side of this bucket and then just let it dry. And then we'll come back when it's dry. All right. So our tape is all dry. I ended up just holding it in front of a fan until it dried because, as you know, my attention span is about this long. So having it just sit on the bucket would have driven me crazy. So we're just going to take our bricks. And I already noticed that one of the downfalls of, of this is that it, I don't have this, the rubber backing or the plastic backing on this, so I can't massage it onto the brick, which may or may not affect anything. So I'm just going to lay this down on this brick. Let's go stick it to the wall. All right, just like we did before, we have the tape on the bricks. I'm going to put it on the wall, hold it there for 10 seconds or so, let it grip itself to the wall, and then if it holds, We'll put the dumbbell on and see how long that holds. Here we go. Right there. Hold it here for just a minute. All right, I'm gonna let it go. Oh, uh, that seems, that doesn't seem like the same. Uh, Oh, let's put the dumbbell on there and see what it does. Oh. No, nah, that wasn't 
that was even close to the same. All right. So, if you get this stuff dirty and you rewash it, it does not, it still works. And that's, that's still pretty strong, but it just doesn't hold, it doesn't bring it back to 100%, which you wouldn't really expect it to. I'm not really too disappointed with that. All right, so does nano tape work? Yes, it does. For the most part, it does everything in the ads, except for if you used it in your kitchen, like in the video show, and then you left the things there, you'd more than likely be pulling the paint off the wall and everything else. But as far as it being strong, I wasn't really so much concerned with that side of the ad, but I really thought that it was just gonna be just another Instagram scam and you'd and I'd get it and it would just be just some weak double-sided tape, but it's actually extremely strong. So on that end, it holds up to what the ad says. Do I recommend it? If you need so, if you need a very strong double-sided tape and you're willing to pay a dollar a foot because that's how much this stuff costs. I don't know if I said that before, but it's a dollar a foot. So if you need some really strong tape that's, and you need it to be double-sided and you're willing to pay a dollar a foot, then you can't go wrong. It works and it's strong. If there's anything else that you guys want to see me test, leave a comment down below. Or if there's anything else that you want to see me do with this nano tape, leave a comment down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.